Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cameron here. Welcome back to a new video. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to lower ping, how to get zero ping and how to optimize your network for getting the lowest latency possible in Fortnite. So guys, I really appreciate all the love and support you guys have given the channel. If you don't mind taking a quick second to like the video and subscribe if you're new around here, that helped me out immensely. I'm trying to reach 10,000 by the summer. I know we can do it, you guys are awesome. So guys, before we pop off this video, I'm gonna also talk about the differences real quick with Wi-Fi connection versus a wired connection. There's a small difference. It's actually not as giant of a difference as you would expect but it's still something I wanted to cover because it does help with your overall ping. But guys, for those of you that are new, I just want to talk real quick about our affiliate on the channel, No Ping. It's a number one optimizing software for your network. It helps with lowering your ping. It also helps with giving you a more stable connection. It even has a feature now in No Ping where you can boost your FPS. So guys, if you're interested in lowering your ping, check the link down in the description for No Ping. It's awesome. I've been using it for about three months now and it's helped reduce my ping considerably. I was getting about 70 ping before I started using it. Now I get around 20 ping on average, which is way better than it was before. Also, if you guys click the link in the description, you guys will get a free 10 day trial to test it out and see if it's a good fit for you or not. And that way you don't have to buy it if it doesn't help you. So what you're gonna be seeing on screen right now is actually a comparison between ping on Wi-Fi and a ping on a wired connection. So here's a huge perk that you get though when you have a wired connection is you don't get any drop in your connection. Like I notice when I'm on Wi-Fi a lot, all of a sudden I'll get these huge ping spikes where my ping goes up like 200 and 300 at like random points while I'm playing the game. So guys, what I'd like to make a second recommendation for, cause a lot of people don't have their router or modem right next to their PC to be able to plug in a wired connection to, is if you have coaxial outlets in your home, there are those ones you have to like screw in with a cord and has like a little prong in the middle. If you have one of those in your room, then you are able to use what's called a Mocha adapter, which is a coaxial extender for your network. It works up to gigabit speeds, and you can get virtually the exact same benefit you'd get with an ethernet by just using that little adapter. So it's a really great thing I'd recommend. Search it up online if you're interested. It's called a Mocha adapter. So guys, now I'm just gonna kind of speed run a few tips and tricks for lowering your ping, just things that I've talked about before. But things I like to, um, you know, to mention again, just because there are things that can help you if you're not using these tips. Go into your settings, go to your gear icon, make sure you have whatever closest server you have active. Do not leave it on auto because this will on occasion revert to other servers, which give you a much higher ping. So make sure you specify which server is best for you and just click apply. The next thing I'd like to recommend is using a game browser like this one here. This one is Opera GX and this one works really good. One of the really cool things that a gaming browser like Opera GX, which by the way, I'm not at all affiliated with them. They're not, I'm not sponsored by them or anything is they have this really cool GX control um, center thing, which allows you to be able to limit network connection. So if you're playing Fortnite and you don't want it to take up a ton of your, ba your bandwidth, if you have like 25 megs only, then you can set this to like five megs or even lower at like three megs. And this will actually lower um, your, your ping if you always have a browser open rather than using something like Chrome or Internet Explorer, which is a lot more network intensive. You could use one of these, which is way better. If you notice your connection is going rather slow, one thing I recommend pulling up is your resource monitor. So just type in resource monitor down here in the bottom left. And then when you open this, this actually will display everything that's using your CPU, disk, memory, and if you see anything under your network that's not supposed to be there, I'd recommend just deleting them. And that way it might actually end up speeding up your computer. It'll show like the things that are using the most resources at the top here. So like if I didn't want Fortnite to be running, I could right click it and do end process. And that also will just drop that connection. So just another little tool for you guys to use. Another really cool tool that I just want to share with you guys, I made in a separate video. It's for blocking high ping IP addresses. Um, so it's actually using this folder that you see here on my desktop. Um, what this folder looks like is it has all these different servers here. And basically in this video that I made, I'll have a link to it in the description. Uh, basically, I go over how to optimize your IP addresses for all of these specified, um, you know, servers. If you're in NA West or 
Europe, for instance, and you can get way faster peeing this way as well. So I definitely recommend checking out that video if you guys have not watched it. So I guess the moral of the story, guys, make sure you're wired if you can, and if not, maybe try a Mocha adapter if you're stuck using Wi-Fi and are still having ping issues, because the Mocha adapter actually works virtually the exact same any Ethernet connection does, especially if you do have that coaxial outlet in your own room. That could be a huge help for you guys. But anyways, guys, this has been your boy Cameron. Hope this video helped you out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out for now.